Hey Lip Bugs, I'm back for another video. Today I teamed up with Hair Vivi to bring you this gorgeous glueless install. And you guys already know sometimes when we say glueless, you're like, or do you mean like glueless, glueless, or do you mean like got to be glue, glueless? Today we're going 100% glueless, and I'll show you here. We have no glue, no hairspray, no gel, nothing bonding this one down. You can literally take it off and go as you please. And from ear to ear, she for sure fits like a glove. The lace matches my complexion perfectly and I didn't add any powder. I also didn't add anything to the parting as we will be practicing or playing in a true scalp tape method. I love this method because it definitely cancels out the um, step of having to add the concealer to the parting and such. It's super simple and easy. I'm going to share with you how I get it done. I love the cut. I love the length on this one. So we're going to straighten it out just a little bit more and then bump the ends as you guys can see it came with a beautiful cut and layer to it i'm here for so yeah if you're interested in seeing how i got this look and following along keep on watching jumping right into it meet april she is a beautiful 16 inch lace wig here is a look at what she looks like straight out of the box hair vivi always comes through with a beautiful package and of course their adjustable elastic band inside has their name already in it so you already know what's up I'm going to go ahead and put the wig inside out on a mannequin head. Here's a glimpse of the packaging, which I'll show in a minute. But this is the star of the show. This is the True Scalp Tape. You guys have seen me use this before. It's beautifully packaged, and it comes in two colors, mocha and cappuccino. In my last video from Hair Baby, I used the cappuccino. So today we're going to use the mocha, and we're going to just see what it looks like. On the back of this, they do give you instructions on how to apply it. And here is a color card that like pretty much shows you what each one will look like. So you can just compare it to your own skin to decide which one you're going to use. So this is what mocha looks like. You just peel it back like tape. And it literally, it's just like tape. This is why I already have the wig prepped on the wig head inside out. You want to place it on the center or whatever part of the wig you're going to be putting parting on. I do put mine about an inch maybe half an inch back so that it doesn't start at the very front of the lace this is going to make it seamless and perfect this is what it looks like when you hold it off of the wig i'm going to start off by putting my wig on with the elastic band and then the back of the cap and pulling it forward to adjust it to my liking as you guys can see she fits glueless so this is a glueless install and this of course is what she looks like on from the front as well as the back as I mentioned, she is a 16 inch layered wig, so she has a nice beautiful cut to her. And of course, the hairline is pre-plucked for the gods, lays flat, literally no complaints at all when it comes to this one. So let's go ahead and get started with our install. I'm going to start off by pulling all of the hair back. We're going to work on the ear tabs and the side of the wig. She does go 13 um, inches across, which is a little bit too long for me, but it's a one size fits all. So you just cut off the excess lace to pretty much fit your head like a glove. And this is a step by step of how I do it. Just pull all of the hair that you don't want to cut up. All of the hair you do want to cut as well as the lace down find that perfect parting and then just cut along or around your ear now let's go ahead and cut off the remaining lace here i'm showing you how seamless the lace is against my complexion all of the details on this one are in the description box but you don't want to miss out on this one she is absolutely gorgeous here I'm showing you what it looks like with sideburns and then I'm going to cut off the opposite side. You can see how beautiful this one sits when you cut the excess lace off. It's not loose. It doesn't buckle. But I did choose to um, remove the ear tabs. That way I can wear 100% glueless. The ear tabs you may have to bond down just depending on the shape of your head. But I don't need those. I can just cut those off. And now we have a 100% glueless wig. No installation needed all i did was use my edge control from bdbd.com to move my own natural edges backwards now let's go ahead and do our dynamic duo we're going to pair our wax stick with the electric hot comb and really just stamp out that parting to make sure that it's super flat here is a before and after the right side is after the left side is before you can see 
that it's a beautiful wig and it's straight but it just needs to be soaked out a little bit to make it look like it's growing out of the scalp i think we executed this amazing let me know what you guys think before or after which one do you think is better now you can see how smooth the parting and the hairline is for one of the final steps, let's go ahead and just bump the ends. I love the layer that it came with. It came nice and full. And I love that the ends are nice and full as well. As And I love the fact that like it's very, very, very much a professional cut. You can see once you bump the ends, it definitely gives me the 90s vibes. There's nothing like this. We love the Farrah Fawcett, but nothing beats this for a nice, natural super 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 flawless look in my opinion and again the cut is perfect i definitely don't cut layers as perfect so i'm happy they provided this for me the ends are not sparse at all so you don't need to cut anything um and i just love it all of the items that i use of course are in the description box of course i'm going to have a sale for black friday so you check the description box for details on all of that and we are pretty much done 100 percent glueless 100 percent flawless and perfect Okay, love bucks. So we are done with the look. I went with the nice little bust down center part and the wrap. The hair did come priest out in a center part, but this is a free part, which means that you can part it anywhere. And I will show you what it would look like. It's a side part. So this is what the lace looks like as a side part. And then this is what it looks like as a center part. So I love a good free part because that means that you can part it anywhere. So you can do a side part on that side. You can do a side part on this side. And it's a vibe. So with the bust down, I kind of just felt like I love the weight of this hair. It reminds me of, um, you know, when you buy hair and you say, for instance, get 24, 26, the longer you get, your hair a lot of the times you'll have straggly ends that need to be just cut so i like the fullness and the weight of how healthy this hair looks at the ends because again it reminds me of when you get that healthy cut at the salon so that you have more weight at the ends opposed to that long longer length that is just kind of straggly and i've been saying that lately that a lot of the times when it comes to like reviewing hair or just doing my hair in general a lot of the times i won't go in and cut the hair but a lot of the times the hair actually does need to be cut just to make it look fuller healthier and so forth and so on so i love the fact that they kind of sort of did that step for you and just gave you a nice healthy look but it's not too blunt it's still layered and it still has a vibe to it so it's not like they just went straight across and just left you with the okay so the camera cut off so we took a potty break but as i was mentioning i think i was saying how much i love taupe taupe is one of my favorite colors so this is the box and that's what i love is that it's a nice taupe color and it does have their logo in gold they also provided this dust bag which matches so perfectly and this is where the wig was stored um now it's in my tub. And then the packaging, as always, is A1. So the tissue paper is amazing. And then they included like care instructions here. There was a nice little ribbon on top. So they go above and beyond to give you a nice quality packaging. So you definitely know, you know, that you're getting good, good, good quality. Then the star of the show today was the True Scalp Tape. Now I used this in a um, video before. So this is my second time working with this. And it's definitely simple and easy. It literally, literally, literally is a one, two step process. So here you guys see, this is the box that it comes in. And on the back there are instructions on how to apply it i did go ahead and put the wig on a mannequin head inside out that way i could apply they do give you a color match guide and this pretty much shows you the two options that they provide which is mocha and cappuccino um last time around i did cappuccino to match my um complexion mocha this time is what i use and this is the result here the beauty with the True Scalp Tape is that you don't have to um, add any product to the lace. You don't have to go in and add any concealer, foundation powder, or anything like that. So they did provide me with three of the mocha, and this is the mocha next to my complexion, and then three or one of the 
cappuccino and again the last time I did do the cappuccino um, which I really really liked against my complexion but I did want to switch it up this time and try the mocha and as you guys can see the mocha is slightly darker than my complexion side by side or maybe it's the same I don't know <laughs> what do you guys think now as much as I like the technology of the true scalp tape even better than that the icing on the cake is that this one does fit glueless so I didn't bond it down sometimes you guys already know when we say glueless it kind of means like we bond it down with a non glue adhesive like a hairspray or such this one is a hundred percent glueless I did not use anything to adhere it um, and it fits like a glove from ear to ear now when I originally showed you how to cut the lace I did leave the ear tabs there that's the only thing I do feel like whenever you leave an ear tab and it goes in front that never fits glueless it's just no way but when you cut it to perfectly match up with your sideburns or just your ear and your hairline it fits a hundred percent glueless and I love that for me so I don't have any complaints about this wig be sure to check the description box for a direct link all of the details on it and yeah go ahead and subscribe if you haven't liked this video and share with your friends I'm excited for vlogmas coming up next month I'm trying to get the intro together this week so that I can give you guys so much more content I know you guys have been patiently waiting and I'm so grateful that you've been patient with me but we're getting it together for the holidays so stay tuned and subscribe for that Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!